Flapping Legs Suit FLS, is a new innovative design model for human-powered flying machine or human ornithopter, where a mechanical suit generates wings flapping and achieves the flight like a bird, aided entirely by human muscle source of power. In other terms, the forces generated by folding and stretching actions of human legs muscle power in the process of walking or running, is transmitted through pulley and steel cable system, which are arranged in such a way that, it pulls the wings up and down. The continuous flapping of the wings produces enough lift force, to enable the human, who wears FLS, to fly like a bird. And human hands muscle power is transmitted, to tail maneuver functionality, and it does not require any kind of pre-built runway or conditional landscape except specious enough to accommodate the wing's length for some distance in run-up process. In fact by observing different kinds of flying animals in the nature, we find different kinds of flying methods, with different wing mechanisms, each method has its own functionality and some limitations. Each flyer naturally adopts a particular flying method depending on their weight, frequency, length, height, and most importantly their requirement like gliding, soaring and flying. That is, one has low wing length but high frequency of flapping, and other one has long wing but less frequency of flapping and so on. Importantly, there are multiple power sources in any living creature's body structure, but varies on the scale of strength. The high strength power source is used for primary functioning and lesser is for additional functionality. And they are arranged in their required position naturally. If we want to have the functionality like any flying animal, we should use our higher power sources for primary requirement, that is, for flying, off course also for walking and running, and lesser for additional functionality like tail functioning. But the only problem is our power sources are arranged as per our natural requirement. But I believe that we do have the sufficient power sources, which can be directed cost effectively, that is in terms of weight and criticality in such a way that it produces enough lift and thrust forces by which we can fly like a bird. Ultimately it is the optimization of length and frequency in relation to the weight makes the flying possible of any flyer. But not the required power alone directly proportional to the weight and size of that flyer to fly. As it is not the weight, not the size, not the strength, not the frequency, not the amplitude and not the geometry can individually dictate the flying of any flyer rather each property relates to one another. So it is an art to optimize these properties which really makes the flying possible for a particular requirement. The FLS project improves the major concepts in the development of human ornithopter, like, overhead weight, costly run-up, insufficient flap angle, exhausting, and mismatch. Overhead weight. To minimize the total weight of the machine which can be easily carried by a person, and at the same time strong enough to tolerate all possible aerodynamic forces in the process of achieving flight. A. Avoided the overhead burden of big fuselage kind of structure to accommodate the pilot, as FLS does not require any additional fuselage. B. Avoided heavyweight mechanical load by using simple cable and pulley power transmission mechanism which is flexible but effective and lightweight to transform human power sources into power source of flying. Costly run up. Rather than using costly internal and external modules, in terms of weight and criticality, in the process of run up before takeoff, the FLS model uses the flapping mechanism itself for run-up and taking off also, by adopting the method of albatross takeoff, where it runs for a while before taking off thus reducing heavy and critical structures and methods to do this. Insufficient flap angle. Fixed and static flap angle can't take some aerodynamic advantages like clapping kind of movement of wings like pigeon wings flapping. 
FLS wood optimizes the dynamic frequency of flapping as required and it can flap more than 90 degrees amplitude where we get the advantage of clapping. Exhausting. Putting continuous heavy strength makes you exhaust. So the tagline of FLS is, flying should be like walking but not like running, then we can cross continents slowly but steadily. Mismatch. FLS reduces the geometrical and flying mechanism mismatch between flapping flying machine and natural flying animals like Argent Avis, where it consists almost the average human weight. In the recent years the evolution of toy ornithopters and bird flying analysis gives the great insight to understand the wing dynamics and flapping mechanism. By increasing the scale of the size and these wing dynamics can be optimized in the mechanism of the FLS flapping wings.